Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Pointy Not Sharp. Today, uh, I'm going to be discussing the effect that the NATO 22mm rifle grenade had on uh, bayonets, uh, or the bayonets of the uh, NATO country uh, members, or NATO members. Now, you may have noticed, uh, pretty much all NATO country or NATO member bayonets have a muzzle diameter of about just over 22 millimeters. And um, you might not think that uh, that's terribly interesting, or to be honest, you probably never noticed at all. But there's quite an interesting little reason for that, and that comes down to the fact that in um, the uh, 1950s, just after NATO was formed in 1949, um, NATO was issuing uh, standags to left and right. So a standag is a uh, standardized agreement uh, between uh, NATO members that they will all adhere to a standard and they had those standards across literally everything, communications, logistics, uh, design of uh, everything military, uh, you name it, and there's a NATO standard just to make it a bit easier for those countries to uh, work together, a bit of interop interoperability. Now, one of those standards in the 1950s was for the adoption of a standardized rifle grenade. So everyone was to use the same size rifle grenade so that uh, they could be swapped, used by the countries essentially. So while you didn't have to use the same rifle grenades, they had to have the same uh, diameter, which was 22 millimeters. So that in a pinch, you could use rifle grenades from another member state, another member, another member country, these. Now, it was about the mid 1950s that the particular standard for the rifle grenades uh, came out. I don't know which number it is. I've done some research. I can't find the repealed ones. I can only find the current ones. Uh, I found the current one for rifle grenades, but it was written in like 2007 or something like that. So it's well and truly not relevant to this video. But uh, when that uh, standard was released, uh, that rifle grenades had to be the uh, 22 millimeter, that meant that um, Muzzle devices also had to be 22 millimeter in order to accommodate a 22 millimeter uh, rifle grenade. So if you go around changing changing all the muzzle sizes of all of your uh, your rifles, you need to change bayonet size as well. And that's exactly what we have here with the uh, the Belgian bayonets. So we've got the Fell Type A. Uh, I've got a video on this one already. Check it out. It's quite interesting. Um, and you'll notice it actually has quite a small muzzle diameter. So I measured it and it was 15.2 millimeters. Because we're talking NATO, everything's gonna be in millimeters today. Uh, sorry, Americans. And uh, that's obviously well shy of the 22 millimeters required. So with the um, adoption of the new muzzle device on the FAL to accommodate the new rifle grenade, they had, to they had to design a new bayonet. And that's what we have here, the FAL Type C with our 22 millimeter uh, it was 22 or 22.6 millimeter uh, muzzle ring socket socket would be the correct phrase now this is possibly the best example of uh, the effect that this rifle grenade had on uh, bayonets but um, in the development of pretty much every other country's bayonets that I've come across they all have a muzzle ring of greater than 22 millimeters so a couple of examples, I've got um, Spanish Set Me L. Uh, this one had a muzzle diameter of 22.2 millimeters, muzzle ring diameter. So I'm reading from a sheet here because I don't remember the model off the top of my head. We've got the uh, French uh, model of 56 bayonet and this one had a uh, muzzle ring diameter of 22.2 millimeters. Even the um, UK SA-80 bayonet, uh, that one came in at uh, 22.1 millimeters. Just got one or two more. The uh, USM-9, my uh, personal favorite, uh, came in at uh, 22.4 millimeters. And interestingly enough, even though they're not a NATO member, the Swiss model of uh, 57 came in at 22.2 millimeters as well. So that's another rifle that would have been able to adopt the, um, the standardized rifle grain. I don't know if that was by design or coincidence, but um, interesting. 
I measured a couple others. There were plenty of others I measured that were also the same size. But um, at the end of the day, I just found it interesting that um, the standardizing of rifle grenades had uh, such an effect on um, so many bayonets from uh, different countries. And there's a lot more than just what I have here, like all of your, your G3s, I imagine, Pretty much every other NATO country, all of their bayonets would be the same. They would all have a 22 millimeter or slightly greater uh, muzzle ring diameter. Uh, that said, um, after this, I might have to look into maybe the Warsaw Pact. I know they all pretty much use AKs, but uh, there's a couple of other rifles they use there. So I'll see if there's any uh, correlation there. Probably not, honestly. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this interesting. Uh, it's a bit of a rambly video. Uh, a bit all over the place, but um, I enjoyed researching it. If you have any further information or uh, anything else about uh, Stanex, you know that um, has affected the development of uh, bayonets, please comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.